on the outer. Saw Sleeball go by McGrath, and now there's Ortiz and Braves of Washington. Vernon. Here we go. Vernon trying to do it two years in a row for the uh, junior, and, and you know, with her teammate McGrath is just uh, coming in, came into the preliminaries, third seed. They just uh, really have a, you know, yeah, that was the same group that ran that four by eight. So it should be another really good race. Uh, Courage was second last year. Urban, Caitlin Urban was fourth last year, but second the year before. McGrath eighth last year. Uh, they're the top four seats coming in, so it's anybody's race in this one. Luce wants to come right to the front, though, and she takes Courage with her. Coming down on one lap to go now in this 800. Luce wearing the yellow. She is a freshman. And now making a pass on the outside is Spittler of Montoursville, the sophomore. There you go, Tony. Again, a young girl. This is a young girl. Spittler and Faye Korch, the top two. And now a hard push on the outside coming from the top seed, Urban. And Urban tucks in behind Korch in third. One lap to go, and Keith Vernon is very much in it as well for Good and Mercy. One out and a one... 09 it appeared. It was a little quicker than that. I think it was about a 67 uh, for them. So we'll see what uh, see what happens here. I think this is where the race is going to be right now. You got about six of them there that's in possible contention. Here comes Vernon on the outside wearing the red. Corrits trying to follow suit, but Urban comes from the, or a bigger pardon, Vernon comes from the outside to make the pass. And now Corrits right around her trying to push back into the lead. And in comes Keelan Urban, the top seed, really pushing it in third. Korich passes back on Vernon. Korich now has the lead with 200 meters to go. And Korich starts to pull away. We'll see if Vernon can reel her in as Urban tries to make a push to get back into that lead pack. But it looks like her efforts are going to fall short. It is Faye Korich and Keith Vernon. Korich in the blue and white. Vernon in the red. They come down to the line. Here comes Urban with a very late push coming around Korish, and it is going to be Vernon at the line just edging out Korish. Same as last year. 1-2, Vernon and Korish. And Vernon, I, I had to admit, I didn't think she had that in her. I thought at the time Korish was going to hold her off with because uh, she made the move last. But Vernon will save something up coming down that little stretch.